and I'm back. Happy New Year again, everybody. Um, thanks for tuning in. I oh, I still have this in my pocket. I am over my zodiac sign photo, uh, <laughs> acrylic pour, and um, jumping back into another video. So, gonna do another one in my green series. And this time I'm going to try a flip and drag. I've already prepped my canvas, which is an 11 by 14 with my base paint. And, um, oh, before I go any further, I just have to say, Nate Cerami, thank you very much. I can't stop singing the Golden Girls theme. So thank you for that. Hopefully another song will come in my head soon because I cannot get that song out of my head. Okay. So I'm trying something a little bit different. I am, of course, using greens. And normally you would have, like, uh, black in uh, part of your colors of the flip and drag. But my Soho Emerald Green dries so dark. I'm going to try to use that as my black and see how that works out. Now, it probably won't show up that dark in the beginning, but I'm interested to see how it would dry. So it's a little experiment flip and drag. So I uh, have my little cup which I've already sprayed with the WD, WD-40 silicone spray. And I've layered my colors. I'm using Soho Emerald Green as kind of like my black. I'm using Artist Loft Metallic Green, Metallic Leaf Green. I'm using my Craft Smart Folk Art mix of grass green, bright green. I'm using Lucas Chrome Green Light, and I'm using Craft Smart Grass Green. So um, I have my tape on the bottom. I'm reusing my cup. And it's been a really long time since I've done a flip and drag. And, you know, of course I want to do a good one for Christina. So um, I'm just going to go and do it. <sighs> Some poured out. But that's okay. Can you see that now? It's on the wrong side. It looks really pretty. <laughs> of course it does because it's great. But let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. I oh, actually don't think I need to pull this tape. To release the paint, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, so I'm going to lift up a little bit. I'm just going to go slide gently. Oop. It's all right, I can come back and get it. I'm going to have to come back because it's all my, that's where all my paint across the canvas. Just move that a little bit. I do want it. I guess I didn't want a diagonal, but it seems I'm going that way. Let me just go off a bit. <sighs> and I do have some bare spots. But let me go ahead and drag this a little bit around. Go ahead. I've got lots of areas with a lot of paint, so let me see if I can drag it to other spots, but I don't want to mix them too much. I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to move it around a little bit if I can fill in these dry spots. Actually, you know what, Christina Welch, listen to you. Let me go ahead and grab some of this spill off. Just fill it in there. See where else I'm dry. Let 
think those are only my only big major drag spots. Okay. Okay, like I'm just gonna I'm always mindful of you guys. So let me move this around and see. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out. Hopefully. Get this down to the bottom. I do want it to go a bit off this end as well. But, oh darn it, there was another dry spot. It's holding up my paint. It's probably been like, I don't know, two months or so since I've done a flip and drag. <sighs> and I only really had one successful one. My other ones, if you saw some of my other videos, I showed my on steroids flip and drags. It's a little bit faster than I want to be tilting, but I want to make sure that I get that dry spot handled and Hopefully, I just want it a little bit covered. I can do the rest with the white and bring it back. Bring it back with you guys. So I want to get my paint moved back to kind of to the center of my canvas before I try to widen it out a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to go side to side a little bit. I want to do more flip and drags, but it is tricky, tricky getting that cup to not scrape. Okay, just wanted to make sure I was all good. Where I was. that. I'm going to go ahead and torch it a little bit. I'm really liking this and closed in the white and then so this darker green everywhere this darker green I'm hoping because it dries so dark that it will become my my black. I don't know if I should do this, but I got such nice green here. I'm just going to try to add a little bit. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Just bring it out. Don't like to waste that paint. might have become a little bit too stretched out. Let's see. I'm going to try to blow it out a little bit. So I'm going to pull it closer to me. 
and this jaw. You're using the straw and you don't have the airbrush, it's important to take some breath. <laughs> and you want to go not at the very edge, but a little bit further in. That's looking better. Sometimes you blow out the white and then there's some pretty green or the color underneath. Alright, I like that. I'm going to turn it around. Blow out the other side. Take back, kind of look at it. This side was definitely heavier, but if I spread it out, I'm still going to have enough good negative space. And uh, blowing out does move the white paint a little bit, but it will dry flat, mostly. torch it one more time really love this but this is going to be where that dark shows up so this will be probably more black I'm happy with this. I'm gonna look sideways, make sure I don't have any dry patches. I don't see any, although I think this blow up I can take some of the paint and blow it back. Yeah. Okay. My first flip and drag of 2019. Let's see if I can get you guys a closer look. Whoops.
continuing on my green series. Oops, sorry. This is my slip and drag. That looks real pretty there. You see that white lacing with my green. Gotta love my green. And I think Christina, I see some divots. I will definitely be buying your airbrush in the new year. All right, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, it'll notify you when I upload another video. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. If you could share it, leave a comment. I love uh, to see your comments. And if there's any tips or things that you would suggest, I'm always open to suggestions as well. Uh, I'll be doing, I'm trying to do every other so I've done the puddle pour and you know I'll be doing trying to do every technique in my colors of greens with other paintings in between. But thank you so much for watching. Have a great night and I'll see you soon on my next video. Bye.